You know, there are times that I seriously wonder why I continue to farm. What's up guys? It's Matt with Family Tradition Farms. Well, the old 6620 let me down. The other day we were done with beans, heading back to the shop, decided to fold the auger in. Well, that's a pretty logical thing to do. Looked in the grain tank. The cylinder was not just leaking, it was pouring hydraulic fluid. That's not gonna work. Took that guy off, took it apart. I work for John Deere guys now. I've, I've worked in the parts department for years. I looked up the wrong seal kit. I ordered a seal kit, got it in, took the cylinder apart, went to put it in today, today's Saturday, and it's wrong. So, <laughs> like, don't get mad at your parts guys. Like, it happens. There's only so much we can do. Serial number breaks, it, it, it's not an easy process. The plus side of it is, I think I can get by this weekend without the cylinder by just tying a rope up here. Now, the auger's essentially free spooling now. So, I think I went up there and put, I mean, it'll swing out, it'll swing back in. I think I can go ahead and combine at least my double crop beans, get those knocked out, pull, hand pull that auger out far enough to get it over wagon and get those all to town. If I'm feeling wild, I might try some corn. I need to get in corn, but I don't know that I'm feeling that squirrely. But I guess that's all we're gonna do. It's about 10 o'clock now. Beans have still got a pretty good dew on them. I guess I'm gonna get the combine ready to go cut some double crop beans, you know? Poor farmer style. Who needs a power unfold cylinder? It's nice for some people, I guess. Oh well, let's uh, Let's just get after it. Now let me just tell you guys how my day's been going. So you know about the unload auger. Got the wrong seal kit for the cylinder. It happens. I thought, well shoot, I'll just tie a rope on. We'll get these beans knocked out at least and then, you know, go from there. So I jump up in the combine. Key. Nothing. Dead. Okay, shoot, well, you know, it's got to draw somewhere. Not a big deal. Put the jump pack on it. You know, let it sit, cycle it several times, nothing. Not even like a click. Okay, that's weird. Maybe the battery's just that dead, it's not going to do anything. So, went and uh, pulled the auger, the gravity cart out, parked it by the little bean patch, come back after letting the battery sit on charge. It was showing good. Okay, we got charged. Hit the key again, and smoked her! For whatever reason, that little, uh, where's that, where's that, uh, that one, right there. A little coil sitting on top of the starter just smoked. Uh, from the looks of it, that's probably a pretty old starter, if not the original one. So I'm not surprised, I mean, electrical components, they only last so long before they, you know, they give up. Here's the problem, nobody's got one that's open, because it's Saturday afternoon. So... We got it off. If you've ever removed one of these starters, you know how big of a pain in the butt it is. Because for whatever reason, John Deere engineers decided to put a nut or a bolt on the back side of the starter right between the block. And there's all sorts of stuff in the way. You got to get a crow's foot wrench in there, a bunch of extensions. John Deere does make a special tool to get in there and, you know, wrench it out. But again, I didn't have one of those because I wasn't anticipating replacing the starter today. So we're pretty well done for the weekend uh, I've got a few little small projects probably throw some duct tape on one of the gravity wagons because you know I'm cheap and I got holes in my gravity wagons what are you gonna do probably get the planter pulled apart because I broke some stuff on it because again I'm cheap you know what are you gonna do and we're probably gonna call it a day because again there's not much I can do until Monday rolls around and I order some parts get that right seal kit coming Get a starter coming. There's nothing we can really do other than put the wagon back in the barn for safekeeping. So not exactly how I wanted my weekend to go. Really the exact opposite of how I intended it going. I had a whole list of things I was going to, you know, do, get knocked out. Uh, but, you know, that's farming. Not really much you can do about it except take it on the chin and roll with it. So I got my, I got the hole in the block plugged up. So no critters get up in the engine, in the you know crankcase. I guess we're just going to pick tools up, close the combine up, and probably call it a day. Shoot, it's 
It's not even 2 o'clock. And I don't know what else to do. Anyways, guys. Not how I expected this day to go. This video is probably going to be really disappointing to you guys. Because this is what real life farming is for guys that can't afford brand new pieces of equipment that's still under warranty. It breaks. It breaks whenever it's inconvenient. It breaks when the parts store is closed. The parts store doesn't have the parts that you need. They've got to order them. It takes two days. Again, what are you going to do? You have to wait. So anyways, guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me, even though this was probably a very lackluster video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and like it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because... Guys, I need something to keep me going. I'm tired of wrenching and trying to fix all this old stuff. If you're not enjoying watching it, I'm going to have to find something else to do. So anyways, appreciate you hanging out with me. And thanks. You guys have a good one.